Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. So in this video, we're gonna meet with another iPhone 4. And in this video, we're gonna do another downgrade video. Yes, so here we are trying to complete the puzzle. So in the last video, which is this one right here. Okay, uh, that's the iOS 5 and 6-ish downgrade. Now we're gonna focus to iOS 4.3.5 downgrade. Okay, so for those of you who are searching for the iOS 4 untethered downgrade, here it is, okay? So, there you go, that's the difference between this video and this video, okay? Focus up, note 20. Okay, so this video, as I said, is focused for the iOS 5.1.1 downgrade. Now, for this video, the one that we are shooting right now, is we're gonna focus on iOS 4, especially iOS 4.3.5 downgrade, okay? So, that's the difference between this video and the previous downgrade video okay so i don't have to explain to you guys iphone 4 3.1 okay so this is still only works with iphone 4 3.1 and mac only okay so that the silver windows user so that i cannot do anything on that okay without any further ado let's just go to the video on how to downgrade your iphone 4 to ios 4.3.5 without any SSH and okay, it is the tool is called cherry flower JB now I actually tried to use this tool uh, actually before the blue via downgrade I failed to do it so let's see if can we do it in this video right so this tool is created by Dora to iOS so again big thanks to Dora to iOS because he is the one that uh, they had to be at the person who works for the Shama Yoshio downgrade now she is back with the more updated tool is called Cherry Flower GB. Okay, so I put this link in the description. Now there is a how to use the tutorial right here, but I'm just gonna make a video for it so you guys can you know watch it a little easier and you guys can come along with me with the journey. All right. So all you have to do is go click here, go to download. We already downloaded the thing, so I'm not gonna download it again. It just downloaded again anyway. Okay, now we're gonna extract the cherry flower gel break. Here is the folder. Okay, now we're gonna plug in your iPhone 4 here, alright? Okay, so once you extract all of these folders, we're gonna go to our very best friend, terminal CD space, direct the cherry flower folder, enter, and now we're gonna actually restore the phone back to 7.1.2. So let's just do it anyway. Okay, so dot slash i device restore 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 uh, slash t space. Okay, I just drag my IPSW iOS 7. Okay, you to download it from IPSW.me and enter here uh, because it needs for the re restoring for to get the SH SH for the thingy. There you go, you see there. You need to save for the SSSH. Okay, now we're gonna type in Zcat. Okay, Zcat. Okay, I'm gonna now open open column. I don't know what that in English. Okay, now you see it on top here. This this name it SSSH slash two one seven blah blah blah. All you have to do is just block it. Okay, let me block it again here. Block SSSH command C copy paste. Basically the same words, so you don't have to retype it like crazy. Close that and then space SH SH space same uh, SH SH uh, pasted the same thing, but this time the dot SH SH uh, extension we're gonna change it to B list, okay, and hit enter. Okay, now it created the B list folder, not the B list folder, the B list file, and then we're gonna type in B word space xml one actually it was not a it was not a l right my bad it was a one okay so paste that the same thing change it to p list enter there you go and now we're gonna type in the main uh, command here okay next we're gonna download our ipsw of course the main core of this downgrade now there is two options eh? if you want to jailbreak and not jailbreak now i do well like to jailbreak so i can install my applications so yeah here it is so if you want to jailbreak um you can only down you can only downgrade to 4.3.5 but if you don't want to jailbreak you can downgrade to 4.3.5 or 4.3.3 okay now again as i said i want to install my app so i'm gonna install download 4.3.5 
because if you not jailbreak you cannot install apps you will get this this app is incompatible warning and it's gonna be hassle all right so i'll be right back once this finished out okay now we download the ipsw let's just put it here in the, in the, in the hd flower okay now here comes the tricky part ladies and gentlemen are you ready okay so we're gonna type in dot slash nope there was not big cherry jp space we're gonna drag our ipsw the three the 4.3.5 here okay drag that boy and then space and um, we're gonna go to here ssh we're gonna go to our uh, how do you say ecid this is my ecid here okay copy space underscore iphone iPhone space dash memory memory space there boost boost the b boost and t quiz space and then our iOS 7 okay we got to make the recipe here all right if you not if you're not patient that they will be failed a so we're gonna go on the ssh we're gonna go to the dot plist one rename command c and then that command v and hit enter enter oh my god wow so oh sorry so on the on the last command all you have to do is drag this okay so you go to folder ssh and drag this one okay so Hopefully you guys can catch it because as I said, we're doing this live, alright? We're doing this live, no cuts, no nothing. If there is error, then it is what it is. You guys are coming with me with the error, okay? So, in a game, we see this running terminal text and now um, I guess we gotta wait until some magic happen. Okay guys, so once you finish creating the custom iOS 4.3.5 IPSW, you're gonna connect your phone to the FU mode by pressing it on the audio now, right? Let's go to the FM also now. Once that done, we're gonna go ahead and type in dot slash I P W Ender I Ponder all right 32 dash P and hit enter. And this will bring our phone to pound the FU mode. You can see our find that is uh, correctly lacking. Okay, now you can see that the device is not in pound the FU mode. Next, we're gonna go and close this up, and we're gonna re restore our phone so we can get the 7.0.2 blocks. So we're gonna type in, uh, hold on, let me click record. Okay, now we're gonna type in dot slash i device i device i device. I cannot type device. <laughs> Here we go, restore dash t, and then we're gonna drag our 7.0.2 IPSW. This is to get the 7 iOS 7 blocks, okay? So we're gonna type in enter, and this is will be taking a while because it's oh it's already it's already present okay oh yeah i already created it so now we're gonna type in mv this is already created because of the uh the first one the first command yeah yeah my bad i forgot okay mv dash v space ssh our ssh and our ecid right there ssh and then uh do the same thing the same thing here paste it again but now we're gonna rename it to our desired ios uh, ios uh, that we want to download so 4.3.5.shsh hit enter shsh enter okay now it's been renamed okay so my bad on the typing that i forgot to put to write a space Okay, so now for the Coupe de Gras, we've been having problem with the restoring since yesterday. So let's see, run now if we can do it. So I device device restore space p dash e space dash w space and then we're gonna drag our uh, custom iOS for IPSW, which is oh okay okay so our custom ipsw is at ssh i thought i lost it man i thought what is the thing okay so here it is our custom ipsw is at the ssh sh folder and now let's see can we restore actually this time in three two one
friend, we are finally booted. Oh my god, we are finally booted. Okay, I have a SIM card there, so let's just go ahead, go to the map here. I mean, I don't have to show it to you guys, right? But basically, go to your finder and activate it like the old, like the old phones, alright? So, let's go here, I go to my finder, it's a detected iPhone, and we shall be activating very soon. Since activating right here, okay finally boys and girls after much 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 of effort that we did yesterday with that error command we stuck at iLip recovery and everything i don't know you guys will, will have the same problem but i have the same problem i have the, i have this problem here we are iphone 4 downgraded to ios 4 let's double check it settings let's go to general here let's go to about you can see that 4.3.5 no 20 focus 4.3.5 okay i lock the focus now now the moment of truth guys this one button is a little weird let's unplug it okay and now let's turn the phone off will it actually is it actually untethered here okay slide to power off turn the phone off okay the phone's now off i just cut it so it, you know it's a little bit quicker it's the uh, booted up in 3, 2, 1. This time I'm not gonna cut anything. Let's see if it's completely untethered. Okay, we got the iOS 7 Apple logo first. And flash iOS 4 Apple logo. Okay. Oh wow. It actually works, guys. Okay. So I thought this video is gonna be another another cancelled video, but it's work. It works because I tried Cherry Flower Jailbreak a couple of months ago. It does not work. This time I tried it also. It does not work yesterday. I tried it, but now. It works. Oh my god. Thank god. Thank god this cherry flower jailbreak our JB is working. And also and I think I put the commands for a jailbreak. I forgot to put it in the video because I redo it again today. So let's see here. It's uh, completely untethered and let's see. Okay, we have Cydia. Amazing. Okay, let, let's try everything for a sec. camera. Let's see. Everything works, I'm pretty sure. Camera works. Let's go to front cam. Front cam works, look at that iPhone 4 quality. Okay, so guys, we finally completed the puzzle. We have iOS 5 downgrade with Pluvia, and now iOS 4 downgrade with Cherry Flower. We can also downgrade to iOS 6 with these two tools, but hey, iOS 4 guys, the original OS for the iPhone 4. All right, so I would like to say, as usual, thank you guys for watching this video comment like and subscribe you know i will probably help some of you guys in the comment section if i actually know how to do how to actually help it i will try to reply to your comments and i will sketch you guys in late next video peace out